Rescuers are racing against time in their search for survivors. Two days after a deadly earthquake shook the island's east coast, that's in Taiwan, killing at least 10 people and injuring hundreds. Authorities say 13 people are still missing, three of them foreigners. Evacuation efforts are in full force at Taroko National Park, where hundreds have been stranded for days. Rescuers are working on airlifting survivors out, but challenges with terrain are complicating efforts made worse by the ever-present threat of landslides and rockfalls. Japan has since pledged to provide $1 million to Taiwan to support ongoing rescue and recovery efforts. Over in Hualien City, crews are working to dismantle a building that has become a tilting symbol of the earthquake. The chance of that building staying intact and upright growing more precarious by the day. Authorities say they hope to complete the operation within two weeks so life in the city can return to normal. CNA's Victoria Chen has more. Lü Quanxian is showing us a picture of her home after its collapse. The 75-year-old widow just lost her husband last year. Now she has lost her home too. Now seeking shelter at a local school, she recalled the fateful morning when the quake struck. She only had time to pick up her handbag and her mobile phone before she dashed out of the building in her pajamas. Now without a home, her future is in great uncertainty. There are hundreds of people like Lu who have lost their homes from the earthquake. The tremor hit the eastern part of Taiwan just a day before a long weekend holiday for the traditional tomb sweeping festival when people returned to their respective hometown to pay respect at their ancestral graves. Observers say the casualty could be a lot worse if the quake hit during the holiday. It's the biggest earthquake that has struck Taiwan in 25 years. As compared to the magnitude 7.3 earthquake in 1999 that claimed over 2,000 lives, the extent of the damage and the casualties has been far lower. Experts say the location of the epic center has helped minimize the damage this time. President-elect William Lai has promised to provide help to those affected by the quake, and reconstruction will commence soon. Meanwhile, hundreds of people were still stranded around the mountains with roads blocked off by landslides and rockfalls. Most were reportedly safe as rescuers deployed helicopters and drones to reach them. So far, there has been reports of some 500 aftershocks since Wednesday. Some are as big as over magnitude 5. The worst may be over, but the Seismology Center predicts that there will be more aftershocks in the coming days. Some may even exceed magnitude 6, so the public is urged to avoid going to mountainous areas for their own safety. Victoria Jen, CNA, Hualien County.